Kevin Rodriguez, and I'm the CEO of Twin Inc. Hi, I'm Madeline Rodriguez, and I'm the CEO of Twin Inc. Our product is called Trash Cheap Talking Trash Can. A lot of recyclables are being thrown into trash cans, and there's a lot of trash being thrown into recycling bins. This is creating environmental issues like pollution. According to a study done by Columbia University, um, one of the most common recyclables that's being thrown into trash cans is plastic bottles. And it takes 1,000 years for just one of these plastic bottles to decompose, but only 6.5% of these plastic bottles are being um, recycled. So Trashy the Talking Trash Can will solve this problem by educating little kids on the difference between these two. Trashy the Talking Trash Can is a garbage bin that will contain a recording device inside of it that will explain the difference between recycling and trash. Outside, it will have visuals, posters. One will be showing what gar trash is and one will be showing what recycling is. Now, to some of you high school students or adults, this might seem like a very lame product, but to a little kid, it's, um, it's fascinating. It's something original. It's something that they'd be interested in. So this is why um, it's meant to be used by little kids, but our target market is parents because they have the money to buy it for their kids. Mm -hmm. Another part of our target market will be cities because it, there's a lot of public places like schools, parks. Thank you. I just, um, you, I think this idea is fantastic, um, and I especially love the, how you end it with schools. To me, I feel like there's your target market. Definitely, I could see the parents buying it for their kids, but at an, if I was an elementary school teacher and we could have that in our class, I think that is really, really cool, and you don't even probably need to go to district level for that. Um, I, you know, admin or teachers could even buy it. So um, I think it is so cool that you're incorporating an educational component um, I love that. I have some concerns over feasibility um, for, with $300, but, I, but if you don't start it up this year, I think it's a fantastic idea and you should get working on it ASAP and patent it and become a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll go next. <laughs> I just want to say I'm a stickler for stats. And the way you use that research and the way you said it, if, this, if I was a VC, I'd be giving you money because, I mean, you clearly stated that it's not just you that thinks this is a problem. You stated that it's other people and that it's a well-renowned, I guess, source. So that's a big, that's a big step. And if you keep doing that for your later presentation, you're probably going to win. So good job on that. Again, the stats, awesome, really original idea. I've never seen anything like that. And so how do you guys envision, um, have you thought about how you, the feasibility just at all about the manufacturing piece of buying existing trash cans or the technical piece? I think the talking piece was probably the one that, you know, might be the most difficult to execute. Have you guys put any thought into that yet? All right, so the talking part would be, uh, you know those teddy bears that you press on them and they talk? Yeah. Something like that where you push it and then it'll say what it has to say. And, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you so Very much. Cool.